It's coming through the house. Welcome back to Weekend Warriors. DIY is about doing it yourself. Our footy stars aren't the biggest pros in this field, but they're giving it a red hot crack. Let's see how they're going. Individually, always wanted to own a house, so it was nice in our relationship that we both sort of had the same goal in getting that. And sort of like the dream, like you sort of get your house and you want to be really house proud. And we, we definitely didn't want to go to market going, we want a house that's already done everything because we wanted to actually get our hands dirty. We still wanted to remain close to all our football, our footy training, close to the city, so to be able to afford that, we had to buy a house that needed a bit of work, a bit of love. She can be a bit handy on the tools. Oh. Big talk, I don't know how I'm going to go today. She's come a long way from the first time we ever used a um, drill. And now I'm sort of like not allowed to even touch it, do it. In winter, we love getting the fire pit out, but we've always missed the barbecue part. So we always, you know, bring it down from downstairs, but it'd be, it's going to be awesome having it right on cue. My nickname at footy, sometimes the girls would call me Randy because my surname's Randall. And then as I started doing little projects, I started getting the nickname Handy Randy. Um, <laughs> so I've got some Handy Randy projects. When you're doing your projects, it's kind of just me. And it's quiet time and just allows me to just kind of block everything else out and just focus on, you know, doing a task. And yeah, it's, it's, it is really cool. So I enjoy that. That might be really annoying, this little piece. I still want it running all the same way. I wonder if I could cheat and do one, but I think my partner's OCD will recognise it. So, see how this section here? Yeah. I can go lots of little bits, chop, 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 so they're all in the same direction. Yep. Or... or nah, don't do one across that way, no. Nah. Do the little chop. Is your, do is your OCD not well, okay not with okay. that? That's not okay. You can't do that. That's just going to ruin the whole purpose of it. Okay, I just... Can't, I, look, can't have it different ways. I thought that would be the answer. I appreciate your feedback. I know, I've just made your job a lot harder. <laughs> yeah, we're making a big one here. It's meant to stick on the wall. We just don't know where it's going. But yeah, we're using Tasmanian oak for the wood. We've obviously got all the materials from Bunnings ready to go. We've got like our little set up here so we know what we're doing and we're really prepared because we haven't actually made a wine rack in quite a while. I'll be your apprentice for the day. Done. You measure them. 864, thanks, sir. Bit other than footy, this. This is, the, this is the boring stuff. The measuring. Don't muck it up. He looks professional, doesn't he? My old man was pretty practical and handy, so I just I probably followed him around and, and I think his old man was as well. I enjoy it. There's something around the house you know, falls apart, I try and fix it. My wife always reckons I bugger it up and I have a go at it, but, <laughs> but I'm always going up the Bunnings and buying stuff and fixing, trying to fix stuff anyway. Oh, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> grab a roll, grab a friend and let's get painting. My dad actually had a fairly significant injury about six years ago and had a heart attack when he was um, in the middle of the fun run and got a brain injury, so he definitely could still come and give his support, but in terms of that sort of physical aspect, he probably can't do as much, which does make me sad, but he's really proud. I know he, he loves the fact that I've been able to buy a house and why I'm so grateful for all the skills that Dad's passed on. He kind of empowered me to be handy and, and tried, just try things, and I'm probably a little bit less like Danielle. I'll just give it a go and if I make some mistakes along the way, I'll sort of fix it, whereas she probably thinks about it a bit more and a bit more structured. Family was already something very important to me, and then even more so after Dad's illness. So I think it's like the essence of, you know, enjoying life, being able to share it with people and with your friends and family. Let's check back in with our young guns, Andy McGrath and Jordan Ridley. Unfortunately, their landscaping skills aren't as good as mine, but they've got their roomie, Ned Cahill, to help out. Welcome to my home and beautiful backyard. Uh, today we're going to be trying to make it look a lot more livable, and with the help from the team at Bunnings, we've got some plants, a, a fire pit, and I guess we'll see how we go. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Ned, the handyman. Push. Yeah, push. It looks way better. There we go. We're literally like shooting with a ballpoint pen at the moment. Yeah. 
<laughs> You've done your autograph on the ground. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's good. Go bombers. I don't know if that would get enough sun, but it'll look all right. We might just have to plug him in on that side every day. I guess me and Dad have always been pretty close, and we've always bonded over football, but Dad's always loved woodwork and that sort of stuff, and I've never really been into it. But once we started making wine racks, it was kind of like nice seeing the enjoyment he got out of, you know, me doing that with him as well, because it's always been saying he's loved. Nah. What the heck did you... Oh, no. Through there. Gee whiz, that's a... Now, that is a bad mistake. Now we've got to think of it. I can't believe I did that. Fatigue, that hole was supposed to be Fatigue. there. Fatigue, been going for like an hour. What could it be you who did that, made that mistake? <laughs> I don't make mistakes. <laughs>